This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have an Asus Chromebook C202 computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on an Asus Chromebook C202. Before we get started, a couple of things I need to go over. Uh, first thing is we need to make sure that the laptop is powered off. Uh, for Chromebooks you need to do a long press of the power button to power it off. If the screen is dark, there's nothing on the screen, then it's powered off. Uh, also when you open and close the lid on a on the Chromebook, the laptop comes on automatically. So if that happens, you just need to power it off. Okay, next thing is to verify we're working on the right model. The label is on the bottom of the laptop and it says C202S and also C202SA. So um, it's C202, C202S, and C202SA. So make sure we are working on the right model Chromebook. Okay, next we're gonna go over our toolkit and we have a PH0 electronics screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips and zero is the size. We have a pair of metal tweezers to manipulate cables and to use as a prying tool. We have a spudger to use as a prying tool also. A hobby knife or exacto knife and that's to lift up screw covers and lift up adhesive tape. And finally a small PH00 screwdriver and that's if there's any small screws involved. Okay, the first thing we need to do is remove the bezel, the plastic cover around the screen assembly. And in order to do that, we need to remove the two screws on top that are hiding behind screw covers. And that's what we're going to start with. We use our hobby knife to lift, carefully lift up the screw covers, being careful not to damage them, and put them beside the opening. There's one and two. Next, we use our PH0 screwdriver to remove the two screws. One and two. And for each step in this process, I like to keep a separate pile of screws so you know which screws go where when you are putting the laptop back together. Next thing is what we want to do is snap the screen bezel off. And to do that, we put our fingernails or fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up and out. And in that way, go around the screen assembly. If you get stuck at a point, just keep going around that point and come back to that part later. It'll usually come off. So we keep going, same thing on the bottom. Snap off the screen assembly on the bottom. and just gently manipulate at the bottom and it comes off. Next thing we want to do is remove the screen from the back of the screen assembly and it's secured by four screws. Two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom. On the bottom make sure you get the right screws. It's the one that has the metal tab on it. So the top left one on the left hand side and the top right one on the right hand side. So when doing this, make sure that the screen is tilted back a little bit so when we remove all the four screws it doesn't fall forward. And once again, start a new pile for this set of screws. There's one, two, three, and four. Okay, next what we want to do is gently lift up the screen by the tabs and lay it down on the keyboard assembly. Make sure to avoid the power button here, not to touch the power button so we don't want to inadvertently turn on the laptop when we work removing the screen. So the screen is connected by one connector and we got to disengage this connector and it's secured by adhesive tape. So we use either our fingertip or if you need help, grab a hobby knife and to lift up the corner of the tape. 
so just enough to grip it and then use the fingertips to start lifting up the adhesive tape and then once you do this uh, let me, this connector is a little bit tricky because there's not much room to play with so what we want to do is tilt the screen forward a little bit and gently use your fingernails to grasp the connector on the top and even maybe use there's some tabs on the connector and just pull it back like so and it's disconnected okay since this is a little bit tricky I'm going to show you how to reconnect it so make sure the connector is laying flat and play around with it until it's aligned and then just get it back Okay, to make sure the connector is properly connected, the two sides of the seam have to be flush against each other. Let's see if we can get a good focus. There. Pause the video right here. The two sides of the seam should be flush against each other, and there should not be a gap between the two sides of the seam of the connector. Okay, for this particular model, it is, like I said, it is a little bit harder to do because the cable behind it is so short, there's just not much room to play with. So you can have your hobby knife to help you out and just gently slide the connector back in when you have the new screen like so. I've done it twice on this video so it is possible. Okay let's take a look at this screen. It's a 11.6 inch EDP screen with top and bottom mounting brackets. The part number for this particular screen is N116BGE-EA2 and the finish is matte instead of glossy so most likely you'll get a matte finish okay a uh, couple of words about this screen uh, this is not the most popular screen from Chromebooks so the most popular screen from Chromebooks has the mounting brackets on the side this is a relatively rare screen that has the mounting brackets on the top and bottom so make sure you buy the right screen and uh, this is an EDP 30 pin connector that's standard so we at Screen Surgeons have this exact screen available and we do have a compatibility guarantee so if you get the wrong screen we will take it back and get you the right screen at no extra charge. Also um, what you get with us is this exact same toolkit that we used in the video. It comes for free with the screen. We also have free priority mail shipping in the United States and if you live outside the United States, we can ship to most countries around the world. Just go to the checkout procedure and select your country. Uh, we also have a two-year warranty on the screen and free email technical support. So to order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons, go to www.screensurgeons.com. There will be a short form for you to fill out which will guide you to the right screen to buy online. And uh, once, and also, this laptop is commonly used for schools and school districts. Uh, we work with school districts around the country, and we offer uh, volume discounts and additional support for school districts, and we accept purchase orders. So once you do get the screen in, reconnect it as I showed you, mount the screen on the back of the screen assembly, put the two screws in at the top, two screws in at the bottom, snap the screen bezel back on two screws in at the top and the screw covers and that should be it okay uh, once again my name is Eugene Panrukovic I'm the laptop screen doc and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com thank you very much and good luck